Okay. Uh, we are going to run an example of a chart uh, using the Endinora package. So the first thing is that we need to uh, install uh, Dinora following the uh, instructions, um, create environment, a conda environment for uh, uh, Dinora. And in this case, we need also to install uh, a SWAS uh, using the instructions uh, here. Uh, after this is uh, uh, um, done, uh, then uh, we can uh, go to the examples of Dinora and then uh, open the example model uh, SWAS that we see uh, here. Uh, so. Uh, first, I activate the Dinora environment, uh, and then uh, open uh, IPython. So we are going to run it uh, uh, line by line. So first, we import uh, uh, Dinora, uh, and then uh, we define the, uh, the green that we are going to um I use uh, SWAS. So in this case, uh, we are in the area of uh, uh, of stat uh, here. So we can select uh, the domain that we want. So we can choose the latitude, longitude of the rectangular. As we see here, we have to the web point and in longitude and latitude is it. 2.10 and 62.24. We give the, the name start 25. Uh, we uh, set up the uh, grid uh, spacing at 25 in, in this uh, in this case. So uh, let's uh, find the grid. Um, yeah. So we get uh, here some information. Um, uh, about uh, the spacing and the number of uh, of grid points. So the next step is that we uh, import uh, the uh, bathymetry uh, and we define the topo reader. Uh, so in this case, we use the model 2020 um, uh, bathymetry that uh, we can find uh, uh, here. This is the C5 area uh, that uh, we use, so we can uh, choose uh, an NCD and download it uh, from here. Um, in this case, I put the tile star, so uh, or otherwise you can just put only the C5. So uh, the topo reader is going to search only at C5. But if you have multiple um, uh, files. Uh, then you can just use a star and the program is going to search all of them to find the uh, latitude and longitude that is given by the grid. And of course, uh, where is uh, located, which folder is located, uh, the uh, bathymetry files need to be defined here. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we have to um, mess uh, uh, the grid using the command grid to mess. Uh, so let's, uh, let's run uh, uh, this uh, once. So then, uh, yeah, and then uh, we get uh, 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 this information. Now it's uh, updated, uh, and we see that uh, we get also the maximum depth and the minimum depth uh, in addition to the other parameters. Um, so. Uh, after this, uh, we are ready to define uh, our model object. Uh, so we have a model dot uh, We provide the grid and the start time and time. Uh, so see, define now the object, and um, this is optional. Uh, the next step. So we plot the grid uh, uh, to see, for example, the bathymetry, how, how it looks like. So uh, this will create a PDF uh, uh, file. Uh, we 
which will be located inside the folder that just created the star 25 uh, swaths. So, see, yeah, and it's uh, uh, this one here. So here we see our uh, domain and uh, how the depth and the coastline. So, yeah, then uh, we continue with uh, writing the files for the Swan run. So we need to export uh, the grid uh, using the command uh, model.export grid. So this creates uh, inside the um, folder of star25 underscore swans um, the uh, grid, uh, the bathymetry, you see here how it looks like. And uh, then also a file where it has some information um, about the grid. And um, uh, uh, here we're going to uh, write uh, the input file for uh, for SWA. In this case here we don't use uh, Nora three. Uh, a boundary, uh, but we just uh, give some uh, irregular uh, uh, waves uh, in the side north. Uh, that is uh, for one meter uh, wave height and twenty seconds uh, um, a peak period. So let's uh, produce this uh, in this file. So here and then yeah. So we have it here with the extension .sws. So this looks like um, uh, this one here. So we have all the information, but we need to run the uh, swaths with uh, the file of the uh, grid bathymetry, uh, the output file here, and uh, all the information is located. Um, so yeah, and then. Now we are ready to run SWAS using the command of uh, model.run uh, model. So then we executed the uh, SWAS. And here we see that this already started to uh, run. This creates um, an output uh, file of stat25.1. And uh, when the simulation is um, is ready, then uh, this will look like uh, something uh, like this. So the waves, uh, regular waves propagating from the north uh, uh, to the south, and uh, we see also the uh, bathymetry 